Hello and welcome to another Pulsefire Gaming video. Today, we're here to announce the April giveaway, the Subjugator Class Heavy Cruiser sculpted by Ethan Lamroy. Stay tuned to the end of the video for details on how you can win a print of the Subjugator Class Heavy Cruiser, scaled for Star Wars Armada. Let's start off with a little lore from Wikipedia. The Subjugator Class Heavy Cruiser was a type of heavy cruiser, battleship, dreadnought, and star dreadnought designed by Rugal Schmang for use by the Confederacy of Independent Systems Naval Forces from a discarded Soro Sub Corporation starship design. Potentially the largest warship that served during the time of the Clone Wars, the Subjugator was heavily armed with hundreds of laser cannons of different types, ion cannons, flat guns, proton torpedoes, heavy tractor beams, and a pair of mega iron cannons capable of disabling the power of an entire fleet of capital ships in a single blast. The heavy cruiser also carried out 200 droid starfighters and several boarding ships, landing craft, assault vehicles, and shuttles. That is from the first paragraph of the Subjugator Class Heavy Cruiser Wikipedia article. And I gotta ask you, how does a ship be a heavy cruiser, battleship, dreadnought, and star dreadnought all at the same time? Come on, guys. Looking past Star Wars predilection for weird conventions when naming starship classes, this ship was truly terrifying in its heyday. First seen in the Star Wars The Clone Wars episode Rising Malevolence, we see the Malevolence, a member of the Subjugator class, encounter three Venator class Star Destroyers and use its heavy ion cannons to completely disable them, then used its conventional weaponry to utterly destroy the ships before they had a chance to report back. The Malevolence, again a member of the Subjugator class, was one of two examples of the class model that served as the flagship of the Kalish Separatist General Grievous, while also serving as the lead ship for the class for the initial testbed of the Mega Ion Cannon early in the war. Following a series of attacks on the Galactic Republic's navy in uh, over a dozen star systems that left no survivors, the Malevolence and the specifications for the Subjugator class were discovered by the Republic after a battle in the Ab Abrogado system. Sometime later, the warship attempted to destroy the Republic's secret medical station in the Outer Rim territories, but was hindered by a small strike force, crippling the entire ship by striking its ion cannon, disabling the weapon, and forcing the malevolence to retreat. As the warship attempted to make its retreat to separatist space, the malevolence was destroyed by the Republic after Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker sabotaged the ship's navigation computer, which sent it crashing into a nearby dead moon of Antar in the Prindar system. The ship was purportedly built by the Freedak Volunteers Engineering Corps at the Pamet Docks and was rumored to cost 875 million credits. Its length was said to be 4,845 meters uh, with a Class True Hyperdrive rating as a Class 12 backup. The ship was also reported to have 23,350 officers and droids and other listed crew. Now to the physical model. The ship itself is 308 millimeters long. It comes in two pieces that we've hollowed and then supported ourselves. Uh, it is designed to be deployed on a large Star Wars Armada base and is going to be available in our Etsy store, Pulse Fired Gaming, or Etsy.com slash Pulse Fired Gaming by the end of this week. Now with all those details out of the way, let's get to the part that I think everyone's waiting for. We're giving away this starship to one of our subscribers, and all you have to do is be subscribed to our channel, uh, comment on the video with your favorite science fiction movie of all time, and share this with a friend. Entries to the giveaway will be accepted until noon US Central Time on April 29th, which is a Saturday. Following that, at 7 p.m. US Central Time on Saturday the 29th, we will have a live giveaway drawing where we will list out the uh, entries that we received and then draw a name out of those entries. Again, this is open to anyone worldwide that the United States Post Office will accept a package to be shipped to. It doesn't cost you anything to enter. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, specifically comment on the video with what your favorite science fiction movie is. and share it with a friend. Once the drawing has been concluded, we ask that the winner email us at info at pulsefired.com 
and we will ship out the package, including the ship and a large Star Wars Armada compatible stand. If you got this part of the video, thank you very much for watching and supporting us. We really appreciate it, and it helps us create more content in the future. Uh, like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you again next time. Have a great day.